Can you tell us a bit about the space elevator and how graphene can help? Sure. First of all, I need to explain what the space elevator is and then graphene's role in it. So we'll take those two things separately. First of all, the idea of a space elevator has been around for as long as rockets have, about 100 years or so. Um, it's fairly simple, really. You launch a rocket up into space with a satellite on it and you arrange it so that satellite spins around the Earth at exactly the same speed the Earth's turning. So if we launched a satellite and put it directly above us two now, then it would be directly above us forever, always. Then the idea is, you take a cable from that satellite and drop it all the way down to the ground. So we have a cable now coming down between us. We can then climb up that cable and we're in space. That's the idea of a space elevator. It's quite simple to explain, really hard to do. It would probably be one of the biggest engineering projects of humanity. But if it could be done, wow, that would be amazing. So how does graphene fit in with all this? About the turn of the century, the early 2000s, NASA uh, commissioned a guy called Dr Bradley Edwards to take a look at the space elevator idea and they funded a feasibility study with a few million dollars and they said is this actually possible to do and Dr Edwards came back and said basically yeah with today's technology all the individual bits so building the stuff on the ground the base station building the stuff up in space is all doable with today's technology the only problem is the material that connects the orbiting satellite all the way down to the ground, there isn't, it's called a tether, there isn't a material strong enough to do that uh, job, it would break under its own weight. Fast forward 10-15 years to the present now and we've got something called single crystal graphene which is emerging from the research labs and looking at the properties, the mechanical uh, engineering properties of that material, it looks as though it's going to be strong enough to do the job. So. Taking this from the labs and turning it into a really, really long piece of material that we can climb up, it will probably be lots and lots of layers of graphene put together, would be a massive engineering project, hugely expensive, probably 20 to 30 years from now, 100 or so billion dollars of investment, massive engineering project, but just might be doable.